next topic is your momentum and forces so before starting that beta momentum that is defined as the product of mass into relative velocity okay yes. momentum that is defined as the product of mass into relative velocity momentum is defined by symbol p that means we can write that p equals to mv okay yes. and about forces that i explained that to you how much if momentum will be maximum the force impact will also be maximum okay yes. the total moving object that contains momentum forces causes change in momentum okay the total momentum is an acceleration or collision is conserved okay so miss conserved that means they are talking here that if there are two object having masses m1 and m2 and their relative velocities are u1 and u2 then their initial momentum will be m1 u1 and m2 u2 and when they will collide together then their final velocity will be v1 and v2 correspondingly their uh, means momentum will be m2 v2 so regarding to conservation of momentum the momentum before the collision that will equals to the momentum after the collision okay yes but by practical it is not possible but theoretical that at equilibrium condition that will be so calculating momentum beta a moving object that contains momentum that means it is the type of tendency of a object to keep moving in the same direction okay yes it is difficult to change the direction of movement of an object with a lot of momentum okay means suppose that if there is a object with a high momentum it is not possible to change its direction okay yes understand yes yeah so momentum as i explained that to you also that momentum is defined as the product of mass into relative velocity so p equals to mv p is your momentum in kilogram meter per second and m is your mass in kilogram that is kg and v is the velocity in meter per second okay yes so the fundamental thing is that if two quantities that will be given to you like uh, mass of object and uh, its velocity then you can apply your formula p equals to mv to get your momentum of that object okay yes next is your direction you should have to remember that momentum does not just depend on the object's mass and speed okay velocity is speed in particular direction that's why that i explained that you velocity is your vector quantity so the yeah so is, do you know about scalar and vector quantity no a scalar quantity that means the quantity which have only magnitude that means like a speed we suppose that i think that i explained that to you that if you are coming from your school to your house within 5 minute by bicycle then your mom will ask you 100% that what was your speed okay then you will tell her that mom my speed was 30 km per hour okay yes so that means only you are telling magnitude that is 30 km per hour but you are not explaining about that in which direction that you came from your school okay yes that means here you have to understand that means only you are telling uh, means magnitude okay yes. magnitude of speed but you are not telling the direction that's why that i am saying that speed is your 
scalar quantity that means you have to learn this that scalar quantities are those quantities which have only magnitude not direction okay yes suppose that if you are if you are uh, traveling in a plane okay and then if there is a little bit means a uh, uh, problem in plane and then a uh, operator who is on earth when he will ask about the uh, position of plane to the pilot then pilot will always say that 930 km per hour in north east direction okay yes so here that he is explaining about the velocity of plane as well as the direction in which that plane is at that time okay yes so here you can see that velocity that means magnitude that he is explaining like 950 930 km per hour and also direction he is also explaining there that means means north east direction okay yes so what so momentum does not just depend upon the object's mass and speed velocity is the speed in particular direction do you understand clearly the scalar and vector quantity yes so the momentum of an object also depends the direction of travel okay understand beta yes yeah means in which direction the object is moving that is the main thing okay Yes. This means that the momentum of an object that can change if the object is speed up or slow down, or the object changes its direction. So this one is very important. What you are seeing on your screen. That means the momentum of object can change if the object is speed up or slow down, or the object changes direction. Okay. yes you can also understand in this way suppose that if object is speeding up or slow down if object is speeding is its speed so that means in that condition momentum will be maximum okay yes. or if the object will slow down its speed then the momentum will be less okay secondly yes. if object is changing its direction so 100% that momentum that will decrease okay yes understand that yes great so now come to the next page beta so here conservation of momentum yeah so the same thing that i explained that to you that as long as no external forces are acting on the object then the total moment stays the same in explosion and collision okay when the we say that momentum is conserved okay or you can also understand that conservation of momentum that means according to conservation of momentum the momentum before the collision that will be equals to the momentum after the collision okay between two objects okay yes again i am repeating according to conservation of momentum if the two objects of different velocity are moving towards each other and then before collision their momentum that will be equals to the after collision their momentum okay because that yes. before collision their velocity will be different and when they will collide each other then again their velocity will change or not yes and when their velocity will change so 100% that their momentum will also change okay yes so in this way you can clearly understand that in different situation 
the momentum that will be different understand yes okay beta so i think that up to here that you have to revise today and then in your next class that we will study a little bit miss momentum calculation okay so thanks for today have a great time within few hours that uh, your class will update it i am calling within 2 minutes just see your brother to be online and be ready okay 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 thank you beta bye bye thank you very much bye